and welcome inside Reed Arena. It is rocking tonight for a little primetime battle. It features the 16 and three Ole Miss Rebels. They visit the Texas A&M Aggies. Nevertheless, A&M Fish has won three out of four after the 0-2 lead start. Jalen Murray quiets folks for at least a moment. Musa Cisse catches 15 feet away. Looking to go to work and attack on Taylor. Instead, passes out to Brakefield, and he buries the three. They don't, when I say they, the Aggies don't have a lot of rim protection. And Ole Miss right now, even though that's a tremendous shot by Jalen Murray. Up the dribble, flings it back out to Jalen Murray. Into the paint, and a nice dime that time to Cisse. And they are not going to allow you to play harder than them. That was an E6 under a Flanagan's mitt that time, but Ooh. he may make up for it. Count the basket. Good answer. <laughs> Radford, aggressive attack. Cisse stuffs him at the rim. It's a great just veteran move there. Cisse going to work, flips it back out to Caldwell, checks the feet, Ooh. puts it up, and puts it in for three. TJ Caldwell with five. Or probably even faster is Kentucky from defense to offense. Murray open, right win three, book it. Now Murray's a very effective three-point shooter. For a game that's only 27-23, it has felt like a torrid pace at times. That three is down for Brandon Murray. Give him another. Earlier today, on this end of the floor, one minute to go, Damian, in the first half. Al Flanagan, the fifth-year fearless Al, looks up, checks the timer, couple of dribbles. Here's Morrell, got his man in the air, contested three, Ooh. bang! Matt Morrell, scoreless in the first half with a timely bucket. Yeah, that was a cold-blooded make at the horn. Brinkford has always played much bigger than he is. This is one of those games where he'll have to do that. Brinkfield, he wiggles around Coleman. Count the basket. And so meanwhile, Ole Miss back to work on this end. Up and under for Flanagan. That one falls through. It's the first double-digit lead of the day for the Rebels. Sharp actually went to Chris Beard and asked him to allow Musa Cisse to be put into the starting lineup. And this team is gelling right now. High-level SEC battle. Primetime hoops tonight in College Station. Taylor checking Murray. Murray bounce pass to the cutting break field. Puts it up. That one's through. The post, because they're undersized, that's how they're going to defend on the interior. The Rebels, once again, one-on-one. -on -one. Murray trying to go to work. Had that one blocked. Picked it up again and says, give me two. Yeah, defensively, they have been stifling. Nunez is open. Rarely takes a shot in a game. And the young sophomore from Garden Ridge, Texas, another Texan. Taylor, four of eight from beyond the arc. Flanagan to Cisse and the two-hand flush. Pretty basketball, nice finish. Murray, that's a deep one. Back iron, Breakfield, so it's a new 20. Breakfield goes up, got it. We are tied at 60. Good length, so mobile Here's right the now, the Rebels. Ball movement, Morrell, head fake, steps into the mid-range, got it to go. Matt Morrell hitting a clutch 15-footer. Murray looks up in the hands of Jalen Murray. Pulls it from deep. The triple is pure. The big shot maker puts the visitors up by three. 21.5 to go. Whoa. Wow. Radford's got it with four. Looks up. Sets the feet. Let's it go. No. And the Rebels come back from seven down with three and a half minutes to go. Hang on. And they're walking out of Reed Arena with a very important road win. Their first in the SEC.